And you need to work on the things that you're f- the most far from faith, from believing in those things. On them you need to believe. Because if you needed $10 and then you got them, you need to learn from that, from the small miracles that Hashem can buy your house. Because for Hashem there is no difference between supplying $10 or $10 million if you need them. When I'm thinking about my expenses, about my financial needs, it, the numbers are, are gigantic. It's, it's amazing numbers. You know what we're doing, we, which huge factory we have here that we're running, amazing. It's a, it's a wild project. The expenses are wild. And if I'm going to check in the bank, I don't have the money. But if I'm going to check in my life experience, so I always had everything I needed. And I know that Hashem helped me to succeed always. And I know that Hashem will always going to help me for the future. And I don't have fear when, when I'm thinking about Hashem. If I'm going to talk with the clerk in the bank, or if I'm going to talk to people, I'm going to be terrified. But if I'm going to talk to Hashem Midbarach, I know exactly how Hashem Midbarach helped me until today. I know exactly how Hashem Midbarach helped me until today to buy two houses. I know. I know that I bought two houses with no money. I know that I bought maybe ten cars with no money. I know that I bought so many with no money. I know that my family... And you, I understand. You can't believe because your lack of faith. My family are traveling and we're going and we went to Uman together so many times and... Again, to tell you the miracles, we have 900 videos. Every video you have one miracle. We need to cut and edit them. We're looking to hire a good editor. That's what you need. To believe. If you're going to check on your past, you see, Hashem was there. For sure, Hashem was with me. For sure, when I had to pay the rent and suddenly that person came and he paid. And then that person gave me a loan and after it I had my help from heaven and I paid that loan. And in another case, someone called me and told me, oh, Social Security, they want to give you money. What? I thought they're just taking. Yeah, no, but now you're going to receive. Okay, another miracle. And another thing, and another thing. And every time something else. And especially, you need to pay attention to the fact that it comes in the time that you need it. That Hashem noten et laim et ochlam beito. He gives them their food in the right time. What? You need to have refrigerators full of food to, to have a, a, a machsan, a warehouse full with, with, with... that you will be relaxed. You don't need that. If you see that until today you're 50 years old, you're 60 years old, you're 20, you're 30, you're 40, you're 80, you're 90, and you're alive... It means that you are eating until today. So why did you going to be hungry tomorrow? And if you will be hungry for an hour or for two hours, what's going to happen to you? <laughs> Learn the lesson. Talk to Hashem. Tell him, Hashem, look, I'm hungry. Look, Hashem, can you help me? And then you're going to find the food. Why well, Hashem made you hungry? That you will remember that He's the one that is supplying. Because when you're poor, when you're hungry, you look to heaven and you say, Hashem, please, can you feed me? And then when you find the food... You cannot argue with the fact that it was been supervised and then you see that it's Hashem and then you cannot ignore and you have faith. That's why Hashem makes us suffer. Why he doesn't give you children? Because you will forget that the children are coming from Hashem and you're going to think that, oh yeah, I have children. No, you don't. Now you want children? Call me. And when you're going to call Hashem, Hashem will give you children. Hashem can give children to a person that cannot have children. Hashem can give money to people that don't have money. Hashem can give a house to people that don't have houses. Hashem is the creator and He created the world and He's keep on creating the creation. Live. In the present. And that's Hashem. And if you ask me, but if that, how can I know if it's God's will to help me? A lot of people didn't get their houses in the end. A lot of people didn't have children in the end. You know why you're asking it? Because you don't know who you are. (laughs) Because you don't understand the Creator that He wants to give you for sure. And He wants to give you everything. And you want for sure that you will have children. 100%, no doubt about it. Me'achuz, 100 complete percent. That you will have a house, that you will have a family, that you will be happy, everything. Why you don't have it yet? Because you haven't completed your faith yet. So on what you need to work? On your faith. To what? To do what? To believe in His kindness. To believe in your kindness. 
Until you're going to know that you're kind, you won't be able to recognize that he is kind. When you still judge yourself and think that you're cruel, so you keep on blaming him that he is cruel, that he doesn't love you. Only because you don't know yourself yet. When you're going to know yourself, it's written, Ilu yediativ haitiv. Yediativ haitiv. If I would know him, I would become to be him. Good lesson? Very good. If you would know Hashem, you would become to be Hashem. If you would know how good He is, if they would know, it's written in the Zohar Kadosh, how much He loves them, the Creator, He loves them, they would run after Him like lions. They don't have no fear. That never gives up. That doesn't know the meaning of the word despair. Running. Full power. After Him. If we would know how good He is, we would nullify ourselves to Him completely and we would become to be Him. Mamlechet Kohanim v'goy Kadosh. A holy nation. A lighthouse to the nations. Yes? And cut. <laughs>